Now you write the word quantitative easing. QE. Quantitative easing is the policy followed by quantitative easing is the policy followed by Federal Reserve of America. Federal Reserve of America. In bracket you write Central Bank of USA. Federal Reserve of America. Same like RBI. RBI of America you can understand in a layman language. When, when Federal Reserve decreases decreases the interest rate when federal reserve decreases the interest rate just to revive american economy just to revive american economy from the grip of a recession from the grip of recession from the grip of a recession this is known as qe This is known as QE, quantitative easing. Now, increasing is a different case. Whenever they will increase the rate, then there is a problem of outflow from India to USA. Quantitative easing, adopted policy adopted after global financial crisis. So, we write a line only. This QE adopted after after two thousand and eight. This QE adopted after 2008 subprime crisis. Subprime crisis to revive to revive the investment in to revive the investment in U.S. economy. First off, because at that time what happened? A lot of American investors. Were preferring investment abroad. It means not in America. They were preferring investment in other countries because when you see every time developing countries always offered a high interest rate in comparison to developed countries. Getting my point? Any doubt regarding this quantitative easing? Now understand this. I have introduced two terms: foreign institutional investors in the flow chart. And another is qualified foreign investors. The same meaning, just one difference. These are institutions and these are individuals. If you are an individual and investing in Indian stock market, you will come under the category of qualified foreign investor. If you are an institute and you are investing in India through that institute, like for example, I am an individual. I'm taking help of any institute in America just to invest in Indian stock market. Then I will come through the route of foreign institutional investors because these investments are institutionalized. You understand institutionalized? These are formal investment. So according to Indian policy, this is allowed. Wedding open. This is allowed. Obviously, what about this? This is allowed, but this is not. Now we'll write the definition of QFI. Then we'll discuss this. Qualified foreign investors are the individuals. Qualified foreign investors are the individuals who are investing in Indian market. Who are investing in Indian market through the through the formal route through the formal route allowed by government of India allowed by government of India allowed by government of India these QFI these QFI should comply, should comply with the guidelines 
and the preconditions of guidelines and precondition of FATF FATF financial action financial action task force in bracket you read established in 1989 headquartered at paris should comply with the uh, policies and guidelines of FATF and and IOSCO International Organization International Organization of Securities Commission international organization of securities commission in bracket again you write established in the year 1983 headquartered at madrid where is madrid located spain Okay, any doubt regarding this? We'll write in one one line what are these organizations, what are the main roles. So we write first FATF. It is the organization to control. It is the organization to control money laundering. Money laundering. Illegal funding. comma terrorist funding etc etc all types of illegal funding money laundering terrorist funding etc this organization will control all these illegal transactions this is the main role of now what's the role of iosco so you write It is the organization. It is the organization which is the head of which is the head of all the all the capital market regulators in the world. All the capital market regulators in the world. So remember, central bank of all the central banks in the world. What is that? Our bank of International Settlement. Okay, that is the central bank of all the central banks in the world. So on the same lines, this is the organization of all the security market regulators in the world. So SEBI comes under this. SEBI is the member of IOSCO, International Organization of Security Commissions, 1983 Madrid. What about Bank of International Settlement? Where is the headquarter? Basel, Switzerland, 1930. Please do revise your previous notes. Because whenever you see the mains paper of 2017, you will find a lot of answers in that, your class notes itself. You can make out all the answers. I'll explain this. I'm about to explain. So now you understand FII and QFI. I'm coming to this. You understand FII and QFI? Simple difference only about individuals and the institutions. So if we talk about foreigners because of their identity, it means we do not know who is investing in Indian market. 
so through the root of through the root of participatory notes these foreigners are using fii root to invest in indian stock market because they are not allowed that is why they are taking help of participatory notes you remember the discussion of participatory notes what's the special uh, provision of p notes is anonymity of the investors so don't know who's investing but just to institutionalize these investment they are coming through institutions getting up so we do not know the funds from where funds are coming but we know that these are institutionalized but we cannot control the outflow of the fund getting my point ठीक है any doubt regarding this so we'll write few lines we'll write uh, mix and match about merits demerits provision etc ठीक है so write point wise features of fii you can write features of fii foreign institutional investors fii is come under the is come under the category of is come under the category of risky inflow of funds risky inflow of funds because of their very nature because of their very nature a domestic country cannot control the outflow a domestic country cannot control the outflow of fii funds now can you suggest me any measure how to control this outflow dollar now if they are investing in stock market how rbi can control this by increasing the key policy rate it means passively we can control another example sebi can control by making investor friendly policies by making tougher regulation for any fraud so they will feel secured in investing in indian economy getting my point so you right the government of india the government of india can control the outflow of f i i only passively only in a passive manner you right only in a passive manner such as such as increase in the increase in the interest rate increase in the interest rate to give incentive to fii of high returns to give incentive to fii of high returns of high returns comma making stringent norms against making stringent norms against any malpractices and fraud against any malpractices and fraud so that they will feel secured so that they will feel secure in investing in indian stock market you write etc because there are n number like for example providing easy access like technology etc if you make hazel free demat account there are n number of incentives that you can give to FII just to remain that in the Indian market. You can also control the currency depreciation. So if there is any outflow, the end result will not be as huge as you can expect due to currency depreciation. ठीक है, getting my point. Next point. The amount that FII is bringing in, the amount of FII. is bringing in to our country is bringing into our country 
is useful for the performance of is useful for the performance of india's stock exchange india's stock exchange next point the amount is helpful the amount is helpful in raising the in raising the foreign exchange reserve of rbi foreign exchange reserves of rbi that later can be used to fund current account deficit that later can be used to fund current account deficit getting my point have you understood this sentence easy to understand any doubt regarding this you can ask okay full stop that's it for fii we'll discuss fdi